Dear friends, it's day 930 of the three-day Russian invasion of Ukraine. Good Ukrainian drones visited Russia. Kremlin's special submarine forces exposed. The UK revealed the results of the Ukrainian strike on the Russian airbase. Let's talk about the most recent updates right now. Tonight, 46 Russian Iranian kamikaze drones attacked Ukraine. 38 of them were intercepted, but because two can't play this game, tonight Russian media reported some of the biggest drone attacks on Russia over the past several months. According to the reports, more than a hundred good Ukrainian drones were seen over the Russian airfields of Sheremetyevo, Domodedovo, Vnukovo, as well as the military airbase Zhukovsky, located not far from the capital city of murder. Zhukovsky is a really interesting target because this airbase is known for being used as a testing facility for the prototype Russian aircraft. Also tonight it was loud in Tula when the Russians used their own oil refinery to intercept good Ukrainian drones. It was also reported that a Russian residential building was hit because you can't peacefully bomb a foreign country hoping that the war won't return to your own home. It also happens when you bullshit your population that you can just capture the second largest European country in three days because Russian army is so mighty and you lie to your citizens that they are completely safe and nothing's gonna backfire. Now let's scroll back a couple weeks to the 22nd of August when good Ukrainian drones visited the Russian military air base Marinovka in the Volgograd Oblast. It's when the Russians traditionally lied that all the drones were intercepted and the Ukrainian attack failed. The British Ministry of Defense shared a footage of the obliterated Russian infrastructure confirming that at least four airplane hangars were destroyed, three more were damaged, also a Russian radio location station and a bunch of storage facilities were annihilated that day at the airbase. Next, I'd like to bring your attention to the update that emerged in the US media three days ago, but went mainly unnoticed. The US officials reported being concerned about the increased activity of the Russian submarine fleet around the key undersea cables. There is this department called Главное управление глубоководных исследований, or the main department for the underwater research. This department supervises a closely guarded, dedicated naval unit of the Russian fleet specializing in sabotage. This unit operates surface vessels, submarines and naval drones. The risk is that the terrorist federation will attempt to sabotage the communication infrastructure between NATO countries. Now, you probably know how your internet works. There's a bunch of high-speed fiber optic cables connecting the whole world and quite a few of those cables can be found at the bottom of the ocean. According to the US officials, the coordinated attack on those cables can significantly disrupt government and military communications, but also private communications, uh, since using internet, messaging each other, and visiting your favorite resources may become really, really inconvenient. Why would Russians do that? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a really good question. Why would the Russians pay $10 million to the US media to spread disinformation in America? Why would the Russians uh, ally with with terrorist regimes like in North Korea, Iran, also Taliban, by the way, and smuggle weapons. Why would the Russians send their spies and assassins to the United States and the EU? Why would the Russians invade foreign countries, waging the biggest wars since Adolf H. Mann? Why would they do that? Because apparently Russian secret services, Russian psyops and Russian fleet operate according to the military plan. I didn't read that plan myself, but if you served in the military, you probably understand that nothing happens just because. And Russia today also wasn't painting pool for brainwashing Americans just because. It happened because Russians have a strategy. And believe me, it's not about peace, partnership or drinking vodka. This is a military plan prepared by the military Russian personnel and it's being executed in order to defeat people like you and me. I hope it's clear. And just a several more updates. The German Department for Protecting Constitution, in partnership with security services in the United States and Netherlands, have issued a warning to the Russian hacker group known as UN 
and C2589. This group is associated with the Russian military unit 29155 and the main intelligence directorate, the Grugasha of the Russian Terrorist Federation. Uh, what are those guys known for? They are known for numerous attacks on the civilian infrastructure around the world and it's noted that the Russian hackers increased activity over the past days. The Netherlands approved Ukraine to use their F-16 airplanes to strike crucial Russian targets on the Russian territory because the international law doesn't say anything about 100 km buffer zone. Latvia officially confirmed that a Russian-Iranian kamikaze drone exploded on its territory, but it won't trigger any reaction since Latvia wasn't the target. I would add just a small remark. Not yet. And the General Staff of Poland is now officially authorized to combat the Russian disinformation in their country. They will report the cases of Russian disinformation and encourage their citizens to help protect Poland against the Russian hybrid warfare. And before we finish, just a small quiz. You probably remember Tim Pool punching his table and screaming that Ukraine was the biggest enemy of the US and uh, the citizens of the US uh, should apologize to Russia. So, uh, here's a question. How many Ukrainian spies were detained in the US for espionage over the past decade? And how many Russian spies were detained? Please let me know in the comments. With that, my friends, I wish you all a beautiful day. Please share your thoughts uh, and opinions. Big thanks to everyone supporting my channel and my unit guys you have no idea how much you are appreciated thank you so much i'm operator starsky as always be safe